about this guys is like multiple attackers is something that generally will happen um from my experience running around doing crazy stuff when i was younger guys don't fight alone like shady criminal type guys you, you might get in a fight with somebody generally speaking it's like eight or nine times out of ten if they're a street or a hood person or whoever they're gonna come back for you and they're gonna bring their friends if you beat them they will almost definitely be showing up later with friends whether that's the next day whether that's that night if you get into a fight in a club in a bar right you better be very fucking diligent when you leave that club or that bar because generally speaking they will be waiting there with a couple of buddies it's happened to my pro mma fighter friend he got fucking taken by surprise what is it bottle or something to the back of his head he went down they're raining kicks on him he got fucked up he wouldn't train Got the hell's angels over here speaking of the hell's angels i got a buddy he is one of them right and or he's in a club and he he one night got surrounded by i'll leave the name of the group out but another biker gang right and they all surrounded him and he said he had i think he was a screwdriver or a hammer those guys they don't carry guns because most of them are felons and if you get caught with a gun it's like double your sentence in most states um they all carry screwdrivers and hammers because Oh, I'm fixing now. I'm a handyman. Whatever, right? They don't carry blades. They carry screwdrivers and hammers. That's all he had on him was a screwdriver and a hammer. He got surrounded by this other gang, and um, they said, what do you want to do? And he looked at them all. He spat at them. And he said, fuck you guys, and he left. Well, actually, he heard through the grapevine later on that the guys, the other gang, had a good respect for him because they knew he couldn't win. He knew he couldn't win. We call it in like military terms a retrograde, like just basically a kind of a retreat, but like not a retreat. Sometimes you got to retrograde. Um, sometimes you got to like know when to hold them and when to fold them. If you get surrounded by a bunch of people and they're intent on kicking your ass, a lot of times from my experience, they're going to give you an out before they actually go for it. They're going to call you names. They're going to say, fuck you, this and that, you know, whatever. And there'll be a moment, a brief moment where they're going to give you that out to walk away. And when you walk away, they'll call you a bitch, they'll call you a pussy, whatever, right? They'll make fun of your club that you're with or whatever. But it's better to do that than get fucking real hurt or even killed, and then you're a casualty. And then your friends have to avenge you, right? Whatever, like, we're talking in street terms. Always take that out. Pride has no room in combat. Sometimes you have to just swallow your pride and walk away. Do be prepared, however, that Sometimes, it's happened to me one night, I was in the fucking Bronx, I was doing shit I wasn't supposed to do, and I had to put my hands on somebody, I, and things went bad, and the guy got, whatever, um, later that night, I was walking out of an apartment building at around 2, 3 in the morning, with another friend, and um, all of a sudden, <laughs> out of the shadows, materializes this fucking same kid and uh, another kid and he goes what motherfucker this and that right i'm saying fuck you this and that you want more all of a sudden another kid materializes chirp 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 this is back when they had these fucking like no motorola chirp phones chirp me fool right anyway i start hearing this it's fucking speaking spanish or whatever and i was a fucking hothead back then i was a fucking idiot my friend had a package on him i told him just fucking run or get the package and get the fuck out of here so like a fucking idiot, I decided I could fight these three kids, right? Well, I was wrong. It wasn't three kids. Three more show up. And then three more show up. Like a fucking idiot, I thought I could fight them all. Um, I was very wrong. One kid reaches into a mailbox, and uh, I thought it was a gun, but it actually turned out to be like a stolen police baton. Long story short, I'm trying to fight like 12 kids, um, and they're hitting me in the head. I got scars up here still. I actually got a bald spot back here not only from getting old but also like i got scars and shit up here from this police baton um so long story short the reason i'm not fucking dead right now is because i never went to the ground if you do find yourself in a bad situation where you're surrounded by people there are ways to mitigate the risk one of them is never go to the ground i talked to you guys extensively about the technical stand-ups this is extremely fucking important there's two ways to go about doing this and actually I'm gonna have you follow me with the camera, right? So, um, number one, 
is I get pushed to the ground, I slap out, and immediately like, I get back up. All right, so that's the technical stand up. What I did was something a little bit different, is I kept getting knocked to the ground, I was trying to fight them off, I would get hit, I don't really remember exactly, but I would go down and I would roll back up every single time. And that's literally why I'm still here. Like, yes, I went to the hospital, I got staples and shit, but if I had stayed down, they would have all literally stopped my fucking head in. Rollouts and technical stand-ups are our best friend. Never, never, never stay down. And it's gonna be tempting, because you're gonna wanna give up. And this is why I talk to all of you guys, never give up and we drill until we're fucking tired then we spar until we can't we're out of breath <sighs> i'm fucking he's laying on my chest i can't you need to keep fighting through this because in the real world they're intent on killing you they want to kill you and if you give up if you give yourself mental permission to give up you will give up in the real world and when you give up in the real world you are going lights out sorry your family is like getting a phone call you're done right so never go to the ground when you do go to the ground and i say when when you do go to the ground fuck Get back up, fuck you guys, and then I keep fighting. Or shit, I get knocked out, roll out. Those two things alone will save you. Another thing that we can think about is called stacking. Who wants to be on camera? Anyone, raise your hand. No? Cool, come in, Kyle, one more. Emily, cool. All right, so stacking is where we take our opponents. And if I do nothing, guys surround me start punching, kicking, whatever, right? Bad situation. I've got no options here except to try to fight and get on the outside, right? When we talk about movement, movement is life in combat. What I ideally wanna do is find one guy. Start fighting him. Now notice how Emily and Kyle are stacked up parallel with each other. Emily, her only option is to now come here. Guys come at me, right? And I'm gonna fight Mitsumi. Now I've got her and him stacked up. And I'm just going to keep trying to stack people against each other. Ah, see now, they're all stacked up. So I want to put them all parallel, and I want to fight as few people at once as possible. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do a mass attack. We're going to get probably two, three, four guys and girls coming at us. We're hit, so they show them at us at once. We don't have any of those here, just to be clear. We're going to get a bunch of people coming at us at once, and we're going to stack them. If we get knocked to the ground, we are going to get the fuck back up as quickly as possible. When we do get back up, all right, come at me, guys. When we do get back up, we fight, all right? We just wildly start throwing straight punches. Questions? No. Never be too prideful to walk away. You will live. If you live, you can fight another day. Guys, thank you for listening to this little lecture. Uh, until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. Go to fightingsecrets.com is the website. Online training is available, as well as cool t-shirts and shit like that. Catch you later, motherfuckers.